Today on What's in the Box, we have Roach. This guy's a big boy today. This is Roach from Netflix's Witcher series by McFarlane Toys. Yeah, he's so big, uh, I can't get him to spin properly in my light box. So let's try to get a full screenshot of this guy. There's an outside of the packaging. Like I said, this is a big boy today. And he is Roach from The Witcher. By McFarlane Toys, age is 14 and up. This guy is meant for collectors. Let's get him off the uh, stand and maybe, maybe, maybe we can get a full screen shot of him. There we go. I think that's as good as we're gonna get. Outside of the box is very reminiscent of the, I mean, it's meant to evoke the Netflix series. So it's got that nice texturized atmospheric background. And on the back, we have a product shot of uh, Gerald and Roach. And on the side, we have the same Witcher logo. On the top, we have a little uh, sigil. And on the reverse, or bottom, we have all the lovely legal. Which I will not be reading. All right, let's crack the seal and get going with this. Oh, this is a big guy. I'm not sure how this is gonna work opening him up. Three seals to crack. Most McFarlane's toys have uh, more than one seal. Like I said, this guy barely fits in my light box and getting him out is going to be a little bit of pain. And the box is now empty. The box is empty. So let's see what's in it. We have Roach. He's in a plastic bubble attached to some cardboard with some more cardboard in the back, holding some more cardboard together, I'm sure. And uh, the plastic bubble, it looks like it's secured with strapping to the cardboard. So we're gonna have to cut that off first before we uh, see if there's anything else hidden here or there. Break out the exacto knife and chop off these two uh, straps. One and two. Well, looks like I only had to chop off one. All right, background, nice, lovely uh, clouds. Very relaxing background. Backdrop, background, whatever. Nice to display your piece in there if you uh, were inclined to do so. Me, that's gonna go back in the box and be disposed of later. So Roach is still strapped in his plastic bubble prison. Let's free him. Looks like we have some strapping around the hooves to cut and the tail. But first, we have what I believe is Gerald's sword. Well, let's get that out first. It's taped in there. And it is free. This is awfully bendy. I wasn't expecting that. I thought it'd be like a hard, sharp piece. 
I guess they don't want 14 year olds poking each other with fake swords and causing harm. I'm not sure what, what the uh, idea is behind uh, using that type of plastic for this sword. Of course, down the line, you worry about uh, warping and droopy swords. But let's free Roach. One hoof, two hoofs. Tail. And we got two more hooves down here. There we go. That should be everything. Does he pop free? He does. Alright, and there's the bubble. Back of the box with the bubble. This is a roach. This is a very nice sculpt. I don't have many horse figures. Especially articulated horse figures. The rubber on the tail is like a, almost made of, feels like tire. I don't know how else to describe it. Stirrups feel like leather. They're not really leather, I'm sure they're plastic. I'm gonna put the sword right here in its holder. That fits nice. Saddle blanket is uh, textured like leather. Nice little marking there on his forehead. Lots of details on that saddle. Lots of good detail on this horse in general. So we can get a full shot of him. I think that's as close as we're getting. Maybe, maybe not. There we go. There is Roach. Now the reverse side with that lovely groomed mane. This is a very nice sculpt. Lots of good detail in there. Unfortunately, this is one of the few uh, figures I've gotten that uh, it's more interested in the figure, just because of the figure itself, not not the uh, lore behind it or the uh, the fandom. I don't know much about Roach himself, but I do know this is a very nice horse. In comparison, well, I brought in McFarlane's other horse, a horse, which was the build a figure in the uh, Dark Knight's Returns uh, line of McFarlane uh, DC Batman figures. Now, I thought this was actually the same horse. Just with maybe some slight different detailing with like the main stuff, but it's looking like it's completely different sculpt. Maybe the engineering, the mold, like uh, as much engineering as you would think any action figure would share with each other, made by the same company. I mean the uh, the head sculpts are completely different. It's, it's a horse is taller, bigger than Roach. But I love Roach just sculpting so much better than a horse. Once more, a horse is the one Batman is riding. Because apparently, that horse never had a name. I mean, even down to the mus muscles on the horses, they're, they are completely different. Like, this is a straight up brand new sculpt. It's, it's, uh, I wasn't expecting that. Nothing lazy here from uh, McFarlane. So I've gone from having one horse, I had no horse figures, to two horse figures in a very short amount of time. And I say figures as, as, opposed, to, as opposed to like toys or whatnot. 
because uh, the articulation, I mean, these, these are action figures. These are horse action figures. I mean, even the assembly uh, lines look different. I mean, the, the overall weight of the horses. I mean, they're different types of horses, clearly. Roach and a horse and Batman riding a horse. Let's get rid of uh, the Dark Knight and his steed. I have one more shot here of Roach. Now, I'm sure that articulation would get some dynamic poses, but uh, because of the size of him, I, I just would not have the space to get a decent shot of it in, in the light box. I mean, out, outside of video, yeah. And uh, thank you for watching What's in the Box. There's gonna be more boxes to open up. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, and share. If you didn't like it, please let me know what I could do better below. As always, thank you for watching. And if you wish to see me uh, grow, feel free to donate to paypal.me. Mystery boxes. Thank you. And thank you for watching.